have released the dog. I blow a Rick the Gamer, do a 100% hammer, bro. Yeah. If no one else work the hard, I will do a fucking yeah. damage. Yeah. Yeah. Can't maintain, contain my flow. I need to play a game for sure. Yeah. Maybe RTS, yeah. RPG, or maybe even yeah. MMM. Yeah. Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome back for another video for Lucid Adventure Idol RPG. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how to farm your EXP because we need that experience to level up our characters. So if you don't know already, when you're doing your battles, and you go through every time you complete stage you get exp so when you go to the return click on there it shows you how much that you get from your return you get plenty of gems throughout the game so I always make sure i keep enough so i can do the two times reward because that's the most bang for your buck we're warping so wait till we're done warping here's like your statistics on your run and everything as well as i do a quick rundown of this reserve return as well because i know a lot of people don't understand the spell marks so whatever you, whatever is like closest to like your highest stage completed you can put it to long as it's a stage above where you are currently and then you can see as it goes up and down on the bottom how much you would get so you can run it and then you can set it to whatever stage other than origin that you want to run to and it runs automatically and if you further enough to get your dragon reserve summon you can click that on so you can skip stages as soon as you start the match so that's a quick run of spell marks because i know that gets asked about like so much but also you know helps you with your experience so this is good like just before you go on to sleep you can do that and then it can do your run it goes to that step it goes to that point in that stage and it starts over and do the next run so when you wake up you can have another run almost uh almost done or if not done in that aspect so outside of this we're gonna go over to our characters and i was looking at a few few of the characters one of my favorite ones and my number one always lime i love her to death um, i believe because i don't remember everybody what level because it doesn't tell you after you level them up but she has a skill that gives you experience i'm up to plus 117 percent right now at level 26 but i believe this opens up at level 16 for her so it's relatively early so you could rush her to 15 even if you're not using her in your party or your main team because it's not required you don't have to level up any other skill you can just level up this skill and the other support skills that she has in her kit as well you will want to level those up too you know the team attacks and all of that good stuff and acquisitions and everything but we're talking about experience so you want to level up that experience and you're going to level up other characters as well like pretty much everyone that has support skills you want to level them up even if you're not using them just so you could have those support skills for your team because it works for everybody everybody gamer yes everybody gamer tell them all right i'm gonna tell y'all so moving on to another character that also has it one of my favorites poop and i'm see poop getting a little bit of the rise in the meta from what i'm seeing around the community a lot of people are starting to utilize her but uh i've been using her for the longest as well one of my favorite characters because she's a solid support tank like you know magic tank solid support and then she also has a skill it gets really expensive i think hers come a little bit later on maybe above 20 or so it just takes a little bit of an investment but she's still not going to be a bad character for you to have to help you climb and she gets this experience also and then another one that i believe gets some early on or somewhat down the line is dark at least the last one i was looking through the list who also has a bunch of stuff you see i got his maxed out right now because it's not that expensive so his he gets early on i'm not sure what level you get his at but those are characters that you want to look out as well as we're going to go to our weapons and then we're going to go to our weapon sets so on your return set you want to set this for for every single character so we're going to go to use here. My team probably about to start getting bodied in the background, but it doesn't matter. And you want something that has on the equipped effect, EXP return. 
every single character you want that. I don't believe I have one for him, and if I do, I have to go back and check. But for every single character, if you can get EXP return, you want to get it on every single character. I'll probably go through my list and see if I can get some or some. And like some of these, I got like our blues and rares and 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 not even purples and everything, just because some of their some of the characters don't have EXP returns on some of their better equipment. <clears throat> so you just get it on whatever you can because that's all this is for you're not using this to do damage or uh or fighting battles it's just to get the esp return because every time you return it's going to automatically be on those be on those characters because you have the weapon set already to your your return set and that's how that works since it's automatically so you don't have to have it equipped onto them you just need it to be on the return set and you will automatically have it. No problems. You can move on. Now for the next place. That you can get more experience from. Is the shop. Now this one. I, I, I'm a little bit in a controversy with myself. man. Why are you always in a controversy with yourself? Man? I, you know what? You always talking hope. Let me, let me finish my video. Gamer, let me finish my video. Okay, gamer. Finish your video. The only reason i'm at a such a controversy with this is because these permanent boosts are great but the costumes give you more bang for your buck early on and they're really expensive right off the bat as well because you need like 8k for a costume where you can spend a hundred and then it scales and i believe after level 10 or 15 or so then it's like maxed at 500 so it scales that way but this experience one is a one that you can probably pump in. There's some people that levels it up side by side. Um, probably whales. Probably whales that like max it to their level. Because like you after you buy so much, like especially the costumes and you start putting levels into like the weekend monster and your experience, you run out of gems really fast and it's hard to come by. And then one of my strategies that I speak about in previous videos... Or and, and that I'm going to talk about in this video as well. You're going to need a lot of gems to do certain things. And if you're F2P like I am myself, it's you really don't want to pump everything into it. But it's not a bad idea to spend on your gems on getting EXP. I'm actually focusing a little bit more on it myself. We're going to put a point in right now just to feel good about ourselves. We're going to go for two. All right, just to feel good about ourselves because I'm currently on an EXP run and this you definitely want to invest in at some point. Not right away. If you just put a little bit here and there, you know, kind of gradually level up, level it up, then that's fine. I wouldn't take it to max to your level because if you're leveling really fast, it's going to be hard when there's things that you want to help you climb that you should level into. So if your goal is to just climb, then you want to level into other areas. And then if your goal is to just gain EXP farm as much as you can before you start really pushing into higher content, then you definitely want to invest into the experience over anything else because the other stuff you could just get later. And of course, once again, we hit a PvP match, which I should probably get bodied and destroyed. I'm in Platinum 3 now. Are we actually about to win this? Are we about to win this? No, we're, we're losing. We're losing. Yeah, we actually lost. We're not about to win. We're not even close. I'm going to try, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen. There's no way I can win this. Can I stalemate? No, it's not happening. We got ready. I always time these videos wrong. Like, I should just, like, wait till the PvP match happens, but anyway. Okay, something I don't have anymore <laughs> that you still have when you're under level 60 is the uh, experience coupons. So when you're doing the experience run, you always want to have one. You can get them once a day. They're also in the shop, the ad shop. They're going to be the ones right after the subjugation coins. I don't no longer have it because I'm above level 60, but you can do it once a day. And when you do an EXP run, which I'm going to explain EXP runs in a moment, you pop that. You do as further as you can for your EXP and you get a shit ton of experience that you can level up. Also, in the events tab, a place that is really important on it doesn't show on the list anymore because I've passed it. That sucks. But on your seventh day, you get 
you're going to get an experience ticket. You want to re-roll that until you get five. I got scared and got four and felt like it was probably going to not give me the five. So I just went with that. And then I jacked that up in, a vi in one of the videos while I was recording. But that's another story. But you're going to get that there. We haven't got far in. I believe we're 11 days at the most. I'm on day 10 because I started a day late in the game because of maintenance. But on day 14, we also going to get an experience coupon. And we're going to want to do that then too. Oh, so no, I can't see day one see the days beforehand so yeah here on day seven you can see the experience coupon you definitely want to re-roll that until you get five times that that means you're going to get five times the experience that you can put in keep in mind the daily one that you get caps once you is no longer uh able to get once you get level 60 and to get and and you level up your team because that's pretty much what it is you level up your team by clearing every hundred floors every hundred floors you clear new that is a level up so once you get past 6k you're going to be level 60 and you can no longer do it so the way is to never go to 6k get as much experience as you can power up your team level 30 some characters and then start pushing through the rest of the content unlike myself who just went through it anyway just to get through it <clears throat> but we got so much more content that we got to do so we got to get through there karma weapons and all of that stuff that i'm gonna be talking about later all right so moving on to the next portion it, in our final segment is coins your little coins up here so when you start you get one once you reach your your um your offline battle limit you get another once you reach your max limit you get one after that so so you you definitely you, you definitely wants to like probably get maybe one level past your max and then leave just leave don't push too far if you're if you're over 5k and you're getting close to 6k if you're getting close to 6k if you're well above uh, well below that then it doesn't matter go as further as you can to get the most experience you can but if you're getting close to 6k you don't want to go too far you just probably a few levels afterwards one level or something and then just go back now here i'm on i'm on an exp run now you're gonna re-roll your coins for the exp so you can get the bonus for all three of them this is how you want to use your coupons every single day you might not get lucky and you're gonna you probably spend a lot of gems but you're gonna want to do it you get a lot of a lot of rewards and everything and i'm probably going to talk about coins a little more later on because there's different ways you can utilize your coins depending on your goals when you're doing your runs you don't always have to use them the same way but just in particular for farming experience you want to utilize your coins for each and every one of these for experience so be active so you can make sure you only get one coin at a time because if you away for a long time and you get both of these coins and you try to roll for experience i'm sure i tell you this before it would be a pain to have to re-roll for that unless you just spend a lot of money and you just like don't care you can just like go for the luck but your f2p your f2p you want to be able to conserve some of these resources because they run out after a while they run out they hurt i'm over here in the struggle right now like man it's hard to really get through things and i still don't even have all the costumes like some of them i'm just like i get them when i get them so for you guys that's looking to get the most out of your experience these are i believe everything maybe you know a little bit more bill i can go back and say build into a ho-ho because ho-ho give you like all of the support stuff that you can possibly want ever to prog uh, to progress all the good support stuff uh as far as this experience and level one in battle he does have some too so don't don't neglect him because i see a lot of people neglect them just because they're able to clear past things but it's not always about a clearing especially once you get to that 60 mark sometimes it's about just getting the experience so you can get the most out of your characters and get the most out of the characters that give you support for the characters that you like to use so you can be stronger and do more and then clear a lot better than us that's rushing through the content rushing through the game so you know learn from my mistake there and that will be all I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. It helps the channel 
greatly. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and turn those post notifications on. Join our Discord. There's a lot of you that's getting in here. I'm reaching out to you as much as I can. But join the Discord so you can be a part of the community. It's a lot to talk about. A lot of people are starting to get more knowledgeable about the game. And that is a great thing. So we can sit and bounce ideas off each other. Especially when you still want to just test things out. See things that somebody else may not be doing. That's a good thing. And it helps the community grow. And this is your host. GamerDude2088. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.